sticky. So a few months ago, I got one of these little jars. I actually got two of these little, little jars. I got this one and then this one. I dumped all this one out because I used this for, put water in for when I was painting. And all of this stuff was just laying on my desk waiting to be used. So this thing came with these metal clips. And all of the clips had um, one, of these, one of these little icons on it. And I didn't like that. So I pried them all off. So this is what I have. I have all these icons. And then they came with a bunch of these numbers. Now, here's the thing. So you have the numbers, but the other side is the vibrant side. And this is probably why they were at Tuesday morning. It's because they were done backwards. So I'm assuming these were rejects. So what I had done was I had taken some of them and cut the numbers out of them. So they're just frames. And I'm going to do that with the rest of these as well. Because this, not so much. This is vibrant and pretty. And I can't hold on to things. And then this little container thing had all of these chipboard pieces in them. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm going to try to make something with that just because all of these things were sitting on my desk just out freely running around because I took them out of the container. We'll see what I do. I'll be back. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish trimming out the letters from inside these acetate frames. Funny story. I knew I had started a video with a narration and I wasn't sure which one. So I listened to, I think I had like three videos I needed to narrate <laughs> before I found the one I needed to do. And um, one of them I was singing in the first clip. Oh my word, I can't unhear that. Just so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and finish trimming these out. You can see the little acrylic pieces that were on those clips. I'm going to lay these frames out on this piece of patterned paper in a way I think I might like. Now I will cut away to glue them down and when I glue them down, I glue them down slightly different. This piece of paper that I'm using, it is from a 12 by 12 paper pad. The reverse side of it is a piece I don't think I will ever use in a million years. So I went ahead and just flipped it over and I am using the white side. The paper is pretty thick. It's not a super thin one. So I think it'll hold okay, you know, in a sheet protector and there'll be another layout behind it. It should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start piecing, piecing these together. And for some reason I did not do it on the page. When I started piecing it together, I started piecing it together off the page. Weird, I know. I don't know what that was all about. I'm going to cut away here in a second, and they are going to be all laid down. Right here, you saw I just pulled away a book from it, and I had just put a paper towel on it and laid a book on top just to let it, let it dry. I pulled out a paper pad right here. This paper pad, I am going to pull two papers out of to use on my layout. I pull out a pink one, this one right here, and then I pull out another one that's kind of weird looking to me that I don't think I will use much of as a pattern paper. So I flip that over and I use the back of that one to frame my photo or mat my photo in white. And then I'm going to go ahead and mat it with the pink one as well. I am then going to go ahead and cut away in rough up the edges of that. So this photo, it is a photo of an owl and it is very unusual to see owls out in daylight. And some cultures believe that if an owl is out during the daylight, it is a deceased soul visiting you. And it was interesting because my, my ex-husband had just passed away like three days before. So I'm like, oh, that's really weird. So I went ahead and took these acrylic pieces that were on those clips. 
And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle those around the page. I do end up putting those down with glossy accents as well. And I do end up pulling out one of the clips. I thought I might just be able to use the clip plane, and it did not work very well. It looked kind of, I mean, these clips, they're just cheap. I mean, sorry, Amy Tan, there's no way around it. They are just cheap. And th that could be why I picked them up at Tuesday morning. Like the um, acrylic pieces that were sitting on top, I don't even know if it's acrylic. They weren't centered. Some of them are hanging off. I mean, I was easily able to pop those off of there. And that could be why they were at Tuesday morning. It's because it was a reject run. I don't know. So I'm still scattering those around the page. I went ahead and pulled out these thickers. And this is what I'm going to use for my title. And my title is just Hello Owl. And I am also going to use glossy accents to hold those down. I'm not sure if I actually show you the name of the thickers or not. And I cannot tell you off the top of my head what they are. Sorry about that. Yeah, right here is where I showed you the glossy accents. Okay, right here you see a camera and a circle. The circle says, remember this forever. Those I fussy cut out of one of the pages or one of the papers that were in the Amy Tan pad. And I just stuck them down right here, right there. Right here I had pulled out a heart and also some asterisks that were included in that thicker pack and I just put those around the page. This right here is some Heidi, Sh Heidi Swap Color Shine in Black and I'm going to splutter that around the, plate, around the page. Cut words, right? And for some reason this one wasn't wanting to splatter so I just pulled out a paintbrush and it tapped the tip against the paintbrush to give it a little more force. I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines in pencil and write my journaling. And then that is all I do to the layout. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.